Okay, so what we're going to do here is we have a manifold. Of course, this makes it all look so easy because the manifold is just sitting here on the table. Um, you're going to take your wrench and you're going to loosen the bottom screw for the V157 motor. And you're going to only loosen it an eighth of an inch. You know, you, you only want it to be as loose as it needs to be for this bracket, the top tab, to slip in between here. So, <clears throat> the other thing is we put some black butyl rubber in the little W notch, and that's going to help hold it in place when you put all this in. So, I haven't done this yet, so um, the way I would envision it is that you're going to loosen this screw you know, with this fine spline ratcheting screwdriver I mean, wrench, you know, ratchet, ratchet thing, and you're going to so get it out like that, and you're going to reach in. Hopefully, you're going to have a way to get your finger up underneath here to help you hold it in. But you're going to get the bracket in with the tab hooked hanging straight down, and you're going to get it on the little nub right here, and. You're going to hold it in place or push it on as best you can from the back side, which is going to be right up against the cylinder head. You're going to reach in and push it on. And if you can get under, underneath with your finger from the front side, that's, ex, you know, that's extra um, fantastic. So once you get it on like that, you're going to swing the, the top plate up around this screw. And then you're going to take your ratchet, change direction, and you're going to try to you're going to tighten this 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 screw first so if it's it's held there if you tighten that screw it's kind of held and then you can reach in and then tighten the stock screw for the v157 motor and just snug it up it doesn't have to be super tight it's going into plastic so you don't want to go nuts with it and then you can just check this the screw for my bracket and then i think you're done